Whenever I work with somebody on coaching, one of the topics that I enjoy and I love to work with them is the erotic voice. Now, granted, I mainly work with women around this topic, but I, because men don't really need training in this department, but for anybody out there, I want to expand on the topic of the erotic voice. And this is my personal interpretation based on how much I studied so far. Don't take it as I know the entire truth and that's it. No, take it as my perspective, which may enrich you in any way or not. So first of all, the erotic voice, obviously everybody's thinking about this. When you moan, when you scream, when you use your voice right in the middle of sex. Obviously, that's the first interaction that we have with the erotic voice. And the reason I said that women need more training around it is because there's more shame and more embarrassment about expressing sounds in those moments, sounds of pleasure, which unfortunately, when we don't, we deprive our partners of the biggest indicators of if what they're doing is right or wrong. The second way you may be thinking about the erotic voice is when you're talking with a certain tone, not necessarily right in the middle of sex, but just when you're with your partner or with your lover and you're using a certain kind of voice. With this one, the only thing that I can say is that you can, if you're not used to, you can work on your voice, on the quality of your voice. And it doesn't have to be something fake, by the way, because many people fake this. It may sound beautiful, but it's not them. And the best exercise that I have, especially for women, but not just, is I tell them to self-pleasure themselves. And after they've self-pleasured their way to orgasm, start talking in that moment, just to get accustomed to what their voice sounds like when they are satisfied and fulfilled and in deep pleasure, basically. So becoming aware of your erotic voice, the way it sounds, that's, the, that's obviously how you can train this or how you can uncover it from within yourself because we all have it. Another way, by the way, is to start using affirmations but saying affirmations to yourself when you're self-pleasuring until you feel and you hear yourself that your voice is changing. And one tool that I have for you, which is for free and it's available to anyone, is the I am erotic affirmations. That's when I use my erotic voice. Now I wasn't with anybody, I was just in front of a microphone in a recording studio, but still I was using the erotic voice especially for this. And as I'll be making other guided meditations, you can take those as examples. But hey, you can find inspiration in erotic voices everywhere. I found inspiration in somebody else's erotic voice doing an I am guided meditation. It wasn't for sex, but that guy's voice was amazing. And there are many voices out there not necessarily used in guided meditations, but they are erotic. And you can take inspiration from those you may find that going to the theater and when you find actors who are really good at what they're doing, they use their voices in amazingly sexual and magnetic and attractive ways. And you can take inspiration from them as well if you like going to the theater. And the third way of using your erotic voice is in a totally different way from what you may be expecting. This is the words that you use in the presence of the person that you're attracted to. And the most powerful way to do this is right from the moment you meet somebody whom you feel you are attracted to. How you actually say and express your attraction to that person, the smallest of compliments, just one word, that's your erotic voice. And that, that is the most powerful way, in fact, to use it because you're using it with intention and if you keep doing this in time, you will find that the power of convincing the other person, of conveying a message, of disarming a tension, a situation, the power that part of your erotic voice has, it will grow. So if you expect 
when things go wrong to say something attractive and hope that using just one word then will disarm the situation, I would say you will be disappointed. But if you use your erotic voice from the beginning, from the get-go, and you say things that you see that are genuine about the other person, you express those. When tension comes up, your erotic voice will have the power because it built it in time to disarm that situation, to make it into something beautiful, to make a beautiful intimate moment into something outstanding. Another thing about the erotic voice is that obviously you can use it also when you're singing. It doesn't mean that you need to sing like the best way out there. Um, and, and I would say here, go to chanting classes or you just start using mantras or go to classes where you receive mantras, where you utter words which have a deeper meaning to you. And you get accustomed to using your voice aside from whispering, moaning, screaming or talking because singing can also be erotic. You don't have to sing to the person when you're having sex. That would be too out there for most people. But you can use that part of your voice in other situations as well. And it can be fun if you still train that. So this is it for me. I hope that this serves as inspiration. And if you want to also get an exercise, work on a lot more other topics than just your erotic voice, then there's one class that I have on Udemy. It's called Roadmap to Sexual Development. And in the second part of that course, I take practical exercises and I give practical exercises to my students. One of them is the erotic voice. And in the module where we're talking about the erotic voice, they also have some guidelines for things to start asking themselves, to start speaking to themselves and so on. And you can check that course out and find a lot of other resources except the erotic voice. And you can use that to develop your erotic voice, but more than just that. So I'll put the link under the video, check it out. It's only $10. So you have something that you can keep for life. So that's it for me. I hope that you um, develop and hone in a very erotic and orgasmic and enticing and magnetic and sexual and sensual voice. And you don't have to let me know about it. You just enjoy it for yourself <laughs> and your partner. And I'll see you next week.